There was a huge spectrum transmitter update that happened not too long ago. It's September 2024. Wow, time is flying by. And just a month or two ago, there was a big, big, big update. Okay, let's see what level we have in our NX6 right now before we go with the um, with an update. About. All right, so we have 3.10. For a lot of the transmitters. Let's see what the update is for the NX6, if any. And let's see what the differences are that the new update will bring us. Stay tuned. I'll show you how we do it. Hey, YouTube. It's Sean, Griffin RC Plane. So, hey, I've been uh, out of pocket for about 10 months now, and I've missed quite a few of... Uh, the latest spectrum updates for transmitters and receivers and probably a lot of other uh, spectrum smart products you know just like everything nowadays they uh, they need updates from time to time you know even our dang toasters and refrigerators and you know and then uh, well our hobby is radio controlled airplanes and spectrum is our favorite because spectrum and e-flight gave us the ability to do this hobby if it wasn't for us, Safe Select and The Apprentice, I wouldn't be here and you guys probably wouldn't either. So let's see what update is out for the NX6. We'll do all my transmitters, you know, one by one, but right now it's to the NX6. We'll pull it up on the Spectrum website in my Spectrum account and we'll read what the update is going to do and then we'll update it by connecting the transmitter to the to the internet or you can uh, download it to your computer through a USB drive or several other ways but we'll pull it up on the computer so you guys can see uh, what the update does and then we'll do it right through the uh, through the transmitter connecting the transmitter to the to the Wi-Fi here that's one of the cool things about uh, the NX lineup and the IX lineup that you can connect them uh, to your Wi-Fi the other transmitters we need to do it with a USB cable or saving it to a little uh, you know SD um, uh, da, da, da storage uh, memory card yeah that sticking it inside anyways let's take a look so real quick like I went to myspectrum.com where I have my spectrum that's where my products are registered and set up in the spectrum website you know my spectrum and you would have your spectrum this is where we register our products and we can get updates and all kinds of stuff. You know, heaven forbid your transmitter gets stolen. If it's registered to you, then no one else can uh, can use it, and you might even get it back or something. But this is a list of the products that I have, and we're just looking for the NX6. So here it is, NX6, and download updates, and we'll take a look, see what uh, what we got. So it looks right here that the latest update is a 4.0, and we had the 3.10. And I glanced down here and 3.13. And uh, there's a 3.12a. There, there were several updates that I missed. That's how long I've been out of pocket. I stopped at the middle of October last year, 2023. So I missed the November update. And uh, see, here's the 3.10 is what we have. And that's where I left off. And middle of October is when I quit doing updates. And so I missed the 3.12. I missed the 3.12a, the 313. So here we are. With the 4.0. So let's take a look and see real quick what it changed. Right down here is the README file. We'll click on that guy, open it up, and then we'll be able to see what the uh, differences are. You know, what new? This is what's really cool. Adds NX20 features to lower radios, including, and here's a list, and here's, you know, what some transmitters you know can do with the update and what some transmitters can't do you know you'll have to look through but right here it says the nx70 and the nx6 increases to 14 channels nx8 and above as the ix14 increases to 20 channels i wonder if my ix12 has an update doesn't say anything about the 12 in here but that'd be interesting like i said we're going to check all my transmitters so here's a list of uh, stuff that it's going to have, and and here is a list of uh, corrections and improvements. You can pause it if you want. So here's some uh, here's some corrections. 
right here, DX18 compatibility mode has been added to frame rate screen. So updates are working for the 18 as well. This is the 3.13. So anyways, here's the list of uh, the changes and fixes that this 4.00A is going to do. So let's update the NX6. All right, got the NX6 here. Let's update it. So we're going to go on down to system setup. And then down here to Wi-Fi utilities. Now, all my info is already saved in here. I've already entered my password for my internet, you know, for my Wi-Fi previously. If you haven't, then it would find your Wi-Fi at home and give you the opportunity to type in your password and so on. But mine's already saved here. And connected, continue. And we're going to go down here and check for updates. And it's thumb twiddling. And here it says that the latest one available for us is the 312, 313, the 313, and the 4.0. We're going to go ahead and select this 4.0. And thumb twiddle some more. Now, while it's loading in the 4.0, just kind of keep this in mind. And I hope it doesn't confuse you. I read about some of the updates for the receivers. And one of them said, make sure that you do the updates in order. You know, for example, we have 3.10 and it just showed 312, you know, 313, 313, and then the 4.0. So read all the directions in the README file first, just in case whatever you're updating says for you to update them in order you know don't jump ahead like i just did you know passing up the previous three updates that i've missed just read the readme files before you update any of your uh, products for anything as a matter of fact and we made it to 74 percent and it said it's taken a uh, you know nearly three minutes to to download this wow 95, 6, and 97, 98, 99, 100. All right. Don't power off the radio. It means that. So, install. And it's done. So real quick, we'll look and see if we can find 14 channels. Channel assigned. There we go. Channel assigned. 14 channels. Pretty dang cool, guys. All right. Okay, hey, that's one down. We got uh, several more transmitters to go, and then we got receivers, and and uh, then we got our uh, our leash, you know, the Sky ID that we need to go through. We got tons of stuff to get caught up with, and you guys are gonna be along for the ride. Hey, we're like a handful of people away from 5,000 subscribers, and uh, you know what that means, jet time. So, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys bearing with me. I really do. Thanks for sticking around and uh, understanding. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I've been uh, renovating a house because I had to move my mom in with me. Um, I'm now her caretaker. And uh, so anyways, I had to make uh, living quarters for her, you know, handicap accessible. And what I thought would be a couple month uh, rehab turned into like 10 months. And uh, anyways, there's another YouTube channel that has quite a bit of footage. Not, uh, not a bunch, but there's some. And the name of that channel is YouTube Pays My Mortgage. So you can see what I've been doing and where I've been for the past 10 months. October 16th, 23 was when I started this project. Took it all down to studs and built it all back and did it all by myself. I mean, all by myself. 
and uh, it was quite the, quite the deal. Anyways, hey, thank you, and uh, until next time, you'll see me here. Okay, adios. Yep, right there. At a thousand subscribers, we gave this jet away. At five thousand, we're going to give another one. I don't know what it is yet. We'll see when that time comes. So hey, subscribe guys. Happy flying.